The game's future stars are on display as minor league baseball comes your way on the show. Tonight, the opener of a three-game series between the Nashville Sounds and the Gwinnett Stripers. It's baseball. It's the show, and it comes your way next. Nolan Kingham, the Nevada-born starter, will get the call in this one. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Hey, this guy comes into this start, Matt, having lost two of his last three starts, so you know he wants to get off on the right foot in this one. One of the keys, getting outs early and establishing his off-speed pitch repertoire early on in this one. So now into the box is Tyson Randolph. The right fielder, Tyson Randolph. He's set and the pitch. Chopped now to short. Can they get two? Throw on to first, two gone. So stepping in is Peyton Henry. The catcher, Peyton The 0 1 on its way. Into right field, that's a base hit. They'll hold it second, and there are two aboard now. Boy, so frustrating as a pitcher. You make a quality pitch on the inside half of the plate right there. Try to bust him in, D-Row, and he fights it off the other way. Yeah, you tip your hat to the pitcher right there. Now in the box, Tyson Randolph trying to bring in the tying run from third here. Come on, sitting on something right here. From the stretch. In there, and it's 0-1. With some traffic on the base pass, nice job by the pitcher to execute strike one. I had him reaching at thin air that time, and he's very quickly down 0-2. Made him look silly with that one. And a slider is way low, but a good job there to knock this one down. Runners are at first and third, one away. Rip it up. To two balls and two strikes now. It looked like he tried to get him to chase on that pitch there, one and two. A good idea, but I think now he has to challenge him a little bit. He doesn't want to get into a worse situation with the cleanup guy up next. Count full, three balls and two strikes. Wow, this is a pretty good at bat right here from down in the count, 0 oh and 2, to work the count back to 3 and 2, and he's seen a lot of pitches too. And the payoff pitch. And he misses with it, ball four. So that'll load the bases, and now he's really going to need to get a ground ball. I think he was trying to be a... Next to dig in, Tyson Randolph. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Out in front of it, strike one. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. Swing and a little blooper to center. And that's in there. Base hit. Way to battle right there. Hey, guys, that wasn't a bad pitch. And executed off the plate. Sometimes you got to tip your hat to the offensive player right there. Stayed inside. So now here is Tyson Randolph. He's one for two in the ball game. Randolph. First pitch on its way. And that's by him. It's 0 and 1. This is where you got to take stock in the situation. Adjust your batting gloves and realize you need a gapper to score this guy from first. If nothing less, pass the baton to the guy behind you and keep the line moving. And he gets under this one as the ball is skied into very shallow right. And that will conclude matters here in the seventh. So it's no runs on a hit, no errors, and a man left. We'll look ahead to inning number eight now. Nashville's out on top, two to one. So next to bat will be Lucas Ersig. He's 0 for 2 with a walk thus far. Pulled high in the air out to right field. And a diving effort, but he can't make the play in right. 
And they'll have runners at second and third following the one out double. Well, unfortunately, being close isn't quite good enough most of the time. Love the effort in the outfield. Now with the plate is Lucas Ersig. He came across to score after doubling in his last at bat. He pulls this one into right. Randolph gets under it and makes the catch to end the inning. So two runs on just one hit in the inning. No errors and a couple of men left. Nine one and two scheduled to lead off the bottom of the ninth. The sounds lead it six to one. Now at the plate here is Tyson Randolph and he needs to make something happen. They're down to their final out here in the ninth. Breaking pitch and this bounces in front of the catcher. You know something to keep in mind. They're really burning through that bullpen and this is only the first game of the series. Definitely could have an impact on the rest of the series and maybe even the whole week ahead. One ball one strike the count. One and one here it comes and this is swung on and missed so now they find themselves down to their final strike tonight. Pitcher's got options here he looked a little bit out front might be able to rush a fastball by him. Able to protect the plate with two strikes and he'll see another one. And another foul ball. And it's fouled away. Seventh pitch of the at bat coming up. Hey, come on, now one time, right here. Swing and a miss. He struck him out, and that'll do it here as the ball game is over. Yeah, that's what you want to do when you're playing on the road. Take it right to the home squad and get a win. Now the, the pressure is off. If they get game. one of the next two, the, the series sound. is theirs. Six and tonight's comes to a conclusion. No Six to they one the final. On Nashville day. took the lead in the second inning and rode that until the very one end. One Alec on Bettinger earns the victory no in they relief in this one, his seventh on of the day. year. So that'll just about do it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a presentation of MLB The Show. For more, don't forget to check out theshow.com. Drive home safely. for baseball of the minor league variety as the show brings you coverage from the AAA East. Tonight the second of three to start the week between the Nashville Sounds and the Gwinnett Stripers. It's baseball on the show and it's coming up next. Tyson Randolph is on the mound for game two. What do we need to know here Danny. Hey it wasn't a great performance in his last start but he did pitch well enough to earn the win. We'll see if he can turn in a little bit better performance in this one. And now Corey Ray and we are set for baseball here this evening. Here's the first pitch. All right back to him on the mound. And he'll flip on to first to record the out. Now to the plate, Bryce Terang, and he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. Throw in time at first for route number two. Now at the plate, David Fry. First offering. Wow. Fellas you take a look at our home standing ball club as they come yeah. into this one tonight they come in playing reasonably well of late though they have oh. dropped their last two in a row. Yeah Matty V we're looking at a team right now they're just playing some average baseball through four games of this homestand they split it two and two D row and I think they expect a little bit more. Yeah and you don't want to be playing average baseball in front of your home fans they need to find a way to win this game and, and, and try and take three out of the first five of this homestand into the wind up and the pitch. Thank you. And you know what? Give this guy some credit up there because this had the look of being a very quick. Uh, we'll leave it right there as he strikes out, and that ends the inning. So not much happening here in the top half of the first. So it's on to the bottom of inning number one. No score. 
At the plate now is Lucas Ersig. And you see that average below the dreaded Mendoza line. Now he goes the other way, and he got a lot of it high and deep to left center field. And that is off the wall. And he'll pull into second here with nobody out. One pitch, one swing of the bat, and they've got a man in scoring position just like that. On the mound, he's probably happy it stayed in the yard. He jumped all over the first thing he saw and almost got to round the bases. Inciarte will slide over and put this one away, and that's out number one. And he'll make it up to third safely here with one away. Let's go, boys. Let's go. Here's the first pitch to him. Peyton Henry stands in as he can't connect here. 0-1. That's a real nice location with that fastball up and in on the hands. Hard to do much with that because a hitter really can't extend his arms very easily. Fouled off. No score here, but a potential run is 90 feet away with one gone. And another foul ball. Swing and a miss. Looked like the knuckle curved there, and that's out number two. Well, their chances of pushing across a run took a pretty good hit after that strikeout. It's so much tougher to score a guy from third with two outs instead of one. Basically, you need a hit, or you need to get lucky with a wild pitch or a pass ball. Here's the 1-0. Well below the knees laid off on the changeup there. No score here as we play inning number two. Got him to go after a bad one there and it evens the count at two and two. Don't quite know where that one missed but it's not for me to decide three and two. When a pitch is close. But we'll have to press pause is that strike three to retire the side. Back to back strikeouts keep him out of danger. The three of us return with more Wednesday night baseball after this. New inning set to get underway, and that'll bring in the second baseman, Sean Adams. And he starts the number eight hitter with a strike, nothing in one. The offense better get it going right here, because they certainly can tell from their dugout, this guy is carrying himself with a presence out on the mound. He's got feel for all his pitches. One ball and two strikes to count. Looking for the strikeout, here's the one two. Now a swing and a miss as he picks up another one. Make it four strikeouts already, and there's your first out. Boy, there's the perfect pitch right there, the straight changeup. He hadn't used it yet in this at bat, and what does he do? He uses it, pulls the string, and gets the big strikeout. Standing in now, Drew Rasmussen, as he'll reach for one and come up empty for the first strike. And he gets him to swing through that one. He's in control. 0 and 2. Nothing in two count. And the pitch. Nope. Ball one. High fastball right there with a two strike count. You know what that might be doing? Setting up the next pitch could be that hard slider down and away. Something breaking down and away off the plate. So he gets the swinging strikeout on the changeup. Drew Rasmussen goes down for out number two in the top half. In now, Corey Ray. Now that is. As he takes a cold strike at the knees, it's 0 and 1. Will attempt to put the ball in play for a change here with the first two guys going down on strikes to start the inning. Man, this pitcher is on right now, pounding the zone, attacking these hitters. He's making it look easy. To 1 and 2 now. Trying to strike out the side. Here it is. Down the third baseline. He'll try again, one, two. Ball, that's outside. Hey, Third inning, style. no Let's score go. to this point. Had to wait back on the changeup, and he did a good job just to make contact. Grounded back up the middle, fielded cleanly. And oh, the throw pulls the first baseman off the bag, and he'll reach it first. Man, there's just no excuse for a middle infielder to make a play like that, especially your shortstop. Looked like a routine play, but for some reason, he just pulled the first baseman off the bag. It happens, but you never want to give a team extra outs. Throw over to the bag, and the runner will get back standing. 
Ray leads off first with a pair of outs in the inning. Off the plate and in, hits a ball and a strike. One and two now as that's in there at the knees. Hey, I still believe in my heart the best pitch is a well executed fastball down the way, and that's exactly what that is. He swings it. Uh, and his game of hide and seek ends as he's tagged out to end the inning. So no runs on no hits. One error in the inning, but a man left stranded. We'll head now to the home half of inning number three, and we are tied nothing nothing. And now here is Tyson Randolph. None. The pitcher. Tyson. Here's the first pitch to him. Little tardy on that swing as it's well wide of first. Bottom of inning number three, nothing, nothing our score. Crowds him a bit with a fastball there, and it's to one and one. And it's one and two. One and two. Bouncer up the middle. A diving try, but it's through into the outfield. He had him on the ropes right there. Count leverage, two strikes against the batter. He's going to have to put that in the memory bank because that guy made a nice two strike approach right there, made a nice two strike adjustment. All set for the start of the inning, and here comes the first baseman, David Fry. The old adage, pitching and defense have been stellar so far. They've certainly kept both offenses in check. The windup and the 0-1. Missed low and inside with it, 1-1. One and one. And not a real good cut at that slider, and he's behind 1-2. and two. Yeah, guys, he's got so much respect for this guy's fastball, you could tell he was out in front on that slider. I think he goes to the well one more time with that pitch. And a fastball swung on and missed as they set him down for the second time here tonight. I'll tell you right now, this guy has a shutout going, and it's been all business. He's not messing around trying to pick at corners. He's being aggressive in the zone, and he's attacking each and every one of these hitters up to this point. High in the air and drifting out to shallow center. Adrianza backs up and takes care of it. Two away. Boy, he showed some pretty good range heading pretty deep into the outfield to bring that one down. Thought the outfielder might call him off, but he clearly had it under control. Tristan Lutz is in with two away as he takes a ball, 1-0. And he won't bite at that one either. It's 2-0. Hey, you want to talk about being in a zone? This guy's been raking lately, and it all starts with his pitch selection. Two great takes, and he's almost daring the pitcher just go ahead and challenge him. Here's a big swing and a miss on the fastball, 2-2. Two and two. Yeah, he just wasn't on time right there. Front foot not down in time. Nothing happens before the front foot can get down. Waters is there, makes the catch, and the side is retired. So nothing happening this time around. On now to the bottom half of inning number four, and we are tied nothing nothing. All ready to go in the top of the fifth, and now it'll be the catcher, Peyton Henry. And the first pitch of the inning here misses down and in for a ball. It's 1-0. 2-0. You can see this guy's more focused at the plate right now. In that first A-B, he went down on strikes. 2-1. One. One strike. 2-2. Two and two. <laughs> this pitcher's bringing it with some high velo. You better get that front foot down early and get ready or he's going to throw it right by you. And a half swing that time, but it's a full swing in the eyes of the umpire, and that'll be the first out of the inning. Next to hit is Cooper Hummel. He went down looking in his last trip to the plate. Grounded up the first baseline. Uh, this gets foul. It's 0-1. Got one down now. Pitch one on down. the way. Hit out towards second. He's got it. And there are two away now. So here is Sean Adams. He went down on strikes in his last at bat. Yeah, but it was a good change up, Matty. Good arm action on that pitch. Look for him to try and stay back a little bit more. Let the ball get a little deeper. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to rush a heater right here. No ball. Bases are empty here with two men out. 
Hits softly on the ground to first. Right to him. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. So a strong start on the mound as he's blanked him through the first five. Last half of the fifth coming up, and we still have no score. Digging in next, Tyson Randolph. He singled in his first A.B. There's a fastball missing down and away for a ball, 1-0. Now the slider gets the call in the bottom part of the zone. Swung on and missed. One and two now. Oh man, was that a hack. He's trying to create his own run support with a swing like that. Hey, get your pitch. Let's go. The one two. Misses for the second ball. I know he missed with a fastball right there, but this guy's arsenal. You can't figure out what he's trying to do. He's got a lot of different directions he could go in right here. Reaches down and hits this one on the ground to short. Throw gets him, two down. Top half of the sixth about to get started. And next will be the pitcher, Drew Rasmussen. Fastball in there for a called strike. And he lays off for ball one. One one pitch is a slider that's cut on and missed for strike two. And he struck him out and that's eight strikeouts thus far. That's a pretty impressive pitch from a young arm like that. If you can spot your pitches there in advantage counts like one and two you're going to have a lot of strikeouts and soft contact. Into the box, Corey Ray. As he will take a fastball in there at the knees for strike one. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. There's a breaking ball that couldn't quite catch the inside. On that fastball is too much for him there, one and two. Hey, this guy's done a better job than expected. He's made some bad pitches in the strike zone, but so far he hasn't gotten hurt by him. Screwball, but he lays off, and now the count evens at two and two. Hit softly down the line at first. Reined in, and he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. Digging in will be Bryce Terang. He's ready. Here's the first pitch. As he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls and a strike. Shocked he didn't let it fly right there. Usually you're looking for a fastball elevated to get the party started. Swing and a miss as he pulls the top hand over. It's 0-2. Tries the slider to ring him up, but he lays off 1-2. and two. Man, that's one of those. How could you not swing at that one? A good take there on that pitch. Fielded cleanly. He'll whip this one to first in time, and that ends the inning. So another good inning for him on the mound. Six shutout innings now. Two, three, and four due up in the home half of the sixth. And we still have no score. Stepping in once again is David Fry. And guys, seventh inning already. Hey, I'm not complaining, but this one's been flying by. Yeah, I'll agree with that, Matt. That's what you get when both starting pitchers have it working. Neither of them have been nibbling around the strike zone at all, and they've trusted their defense to make the plays, and they've done just that. Yeah, and it's resulted in a game that could really go either way in these late innings. Swing, and there it goes. He got all of this one. Gone to lead off the inning. What a great feeling right there as he circles the pillows. Finally able to get this offense potentially going with one swing of the bat. Being shut out all game, but not anymore. Now that To the plate now, Lucas Ersek. As he'll pop this one foul off to the left and out of play. He's working on a one for two game so far. Just behind the fastball there, two strikes now. Just getting blown away so far. No reason to throw anything else to speed up his bat. Just stay right there. And he rings up another one. Make it nine strikeouts for him in the game. 
Every pitcher gives up home runs, some more than others, but the best ones forget about them as soon as the next guy digs into the batter's box. He showed me a lot right there by going now after the next hitter right and striking All him out on in. only three pitches. One ball, no strikes to count. Now the 1 0. It is a fastball in off the plate for a ball. Well, this is a spot you'd like to be in. 2 0, good hitter. He's going to turn it loose right here. And he'll lay the fastball in here to get the count back to two and one. Great job of doubling up with the fastball inside. A lot of times you'll see a pitcher go in there, but they won't go back in there a second time. This guy's not afraid to pitch inside. And he misses with that one down and in. It's a full count now, three and two. When you're playing close games like this, base runners mean everything, so he can ill afford to start giving away free passes. So he got him swinging. Tristan Lutz goes down for out number two in the top half. Stepping in now, Peyton Henry. He swings and sends a bullet to right field. Almonte gets there for the catch, and that ends the inning. So just the one hit in the inning, but it's a home run that pushes him out in front. We'll move on now to the bottom half of the seventh. Get up and stretch. Nashville's out on top, one to nothing. Philip Irvin will come on to pinch hit here in a big spot. Hey, it's hard to win games at any point, but to win games on the road, especially in this ballpark so they are very happy with this win and this evening's ends at a seven to two finish Nashville jumped ahead in the seventh inning and never gave the lead back Drew Rasmussen wins his third of the season Tyson Randolph struck out ten in the losing effort so that's a wrap here tonight for Mark DeRosa Dan Pleszak this is Matt Vaskersian you've been watching MLB the show for more find us on Twitter at MLB the show Drive home safely. Minor League Baseball on the show for you now as we present coverage from the AAA East. Tonight, the first of this three-game weekend series between the Gwinnett Stripers and the Nashville Sounds. Ladies We've got gentlemen. baseball on the show, Yo, and it's coming Nashville. up next. Sound. Bowden Francis, a right-hander from Florida, gets the ball as the starter here. What's your take on him, Dan? Well, as you can see, he's a tall drink of water out there, especially on the mound. That can really work to your advantage because you work on more of a downhill plane, and you typically get more extension to the plate on your release. The key, though, is that he has to be out front with his release point, or he'll be more likely to miss up in the zone. Next to hit, Tyson Randolph is back in the starting lineup for this one after sitting out last night's game. He's set. Here it comes. Fellas are home nine as they begin play here this evening. Despite the loss last time out, they enter this one in good shape. Winners in seven of their last ten. Yeah, Maddie, this is a nice one. First game of a homestand. You played well on the road. You got a chance to grab a shower and sleep in your own bed last night. I bet you this team comes out on the attack today. Not what you expect from your three hole hitter when the first two guys get on base. Now it'll be Tyson Randolph, runner in scoring position with two gone. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Comes set, the 0-1. That's taken. Now it's 0-2. Well, you can see he's coming right at this guy, just pounding the ball in the strike zone. He certainly has the advantage now. This guy hasn't even swung the bat yet. Tried to get him to go after one below the knees, but it's one and two. I'm pretty surprised by the location on those last three pitches. The book on him is that he hits the way pitch pretty well, and he just saw three in a row out there. So does he go back out there again? No, Matt, I expect him to mix it up. Most catchers won't call for the same location over and over and over. 
Ready with the one two. And a slider runs away from him there and the count levels at two and two. Now this guy's a grinder fouls off good pitches and doesn't seem to swing at the ones just off the corner. This guy's a pitcher's nightmare. Neither guy willing to give in and the at bat will continue. Adrianza on third with two out. And that misses there so he runs to count full now. These are the kind of A.B.'s regardless of the outcome. You go back to the dugout as an offensive player and your teammates are loving on you for making that pitcher work and battling it out. There's ball four. Bottom of the inning now and digging in is the outfielder Joe Gray. The right fielder. Joe Gray. Line drive base hit. Hey, nice A.B. right there. With the pitcher coming to the plate, your job is to get on in front of him. This should be interesting. Does he get the bunt sign? Do we play a little billy ball and pull it back and try and play chicklets with the third baseman? Let's see what happens. Striding in is Jace Peterson. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Now here's the ball hit high and deep to straightaway right field. A ball that's carrying. On the warning track, he makes the catch. Into the box, Bowden Francis. He popped now, out in his first trip. The pitcher. Bowden Francis. Fly ball out to straightaway right. And no trouble for him as he makes the catch to end the inning. So no runs on no hits, no errors, and one man left on base. Five innings complete. Gwinnett leads it one to nothing. New inning set to get underway, and next it'll be the outfielder, Tyson Randolph. No balls and a strike to count. This guy's been throwing the ball great so far, but he's going to be tested here. Four, five, and six coming up this part of the lineup. A little too much bite on the breaking ball that time as it's well off the outside. On the run, this one in on him, and he can't connect, so he finds himself down one and two now. Not much you could do with that one. Tied him up in knots. Line drive to center field. Ray is right there, one down. Good contact to start out the inning. Thought he might be on base with some sort of a hit, but. Next up, Jace Peterson. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. Peterson. Into right field, that's a base hit. So that knock keeps the bottom of the sixth inning hot. And they keep the inning alive with a base hit, but you can see that's only the third hit. He's given up the entire game, so he's still in total control out there. So the next to bat will be Tyson Randolph. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. First delivery to him. You know, because this is just a one-run game, this doesn't strike me as a situation where he's going to be working around a guy. I think he's going to challenge hey. him right here. A ball and a strike. Swung on and missed that strike two. Two out, nobody on. Fastball well outside. I know he missed with a fastball right there, but this guy's arsenal. You can't figure out what he's trying to do. He's got a lot of different directions he could go in right here. And he takes ball three, so it's a full count now. When you're playing close games like this, base runners mean everything, so he can ill afford to start giving away free passes. Lifted in the air out towards left center. Left fielder is on the move. He gets there to make the play, and that ends the inning. Nothing across here this half of the inning. Not too many more shots left. Home half of the eight.
close one tonight two to one the final score the sound seal up their 30th win at home on the season Luke Barker earns the victory the in relief in this one his seventh of the year the so that just seven. about does it for Mark DeRosa Dan Plezak and our entire crew I'm Matt Vaskersian you've been watching MLB the show for more make your way over to the new website the show.com Time of the ball game, two hours and 39 minutes. Minor League Baseball is live and on the air on the show. Tonight, game two of this three-game weekend series between the Gwinnett Stripers and the Nashville Sounds. It's baseball, it's the show, and it comes your way next. Spencer Howard, the California-born right-hander, is on the mound. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Hey, you take a look at this guy's ERA. Any ERA under four is pretty good in this day and age of baseball. When we have all these high-scoring, high-flying affairs, this guy knows how to pitch. He knows how to control the running game. And most importantly, he's not afraid to throw strikes. We'll see how he does in this one. First pitch on the way. Tyson Randolph is in with two away as he takes a ball one and oh guys we take a look at the home nine as they take the field tonight they've had it going the last ten games they're seven and three over that stretch including a win last time out yeah Maddie this place is buzzing right now this team won the opener of the series yesterday and they're looking to step on this team's throat and take the first two games of this series in front of the changeup and he can't keep it fair two strikes on him now. Here comes the one two. He swung on and missed strike three. So a relatively routine start for the top. So now to the play Tristan good. Lutz. He did not play last night but clearly back in the starting nine for this one. Oh and he misses it. Boy, after that base knock right there, d -Roll, he extends his hitting streak to seven games. Yeah, and you can tell he's made some necessary adjustments. Come on, big now guy. to the Come plate, on, here is Tyson Randolph. Struck out in his last trip to the plate. Still a big bagel in that hit column, and this is where the frustration can start setting in on a team if they're not careful. It's never a good feeling when you know the guy out there on the mound is completely shutting you down. Count now a ball and a strike. Hey, let's go, Big Bell. The 1-1. Takes a pass and misses. That's strike two. He is in complete command out on the mound today. He's got all four corners locked in, and now he's raising eye levels to boot. And two and two. Weak grounder down the line at third. Knee high. He barehands it. In time. Next, it'll be Cooper Hummel. He went down on strikes in his last at bat. 2 1, here it is. Pulled high in the air out to right field. Randolph will get there and he puts it away to retire the side. So, one run on one hit, one error, and a runner left on. On to the top of inning number five we go. The Sounds lead it 2 to nothing. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Leading and next will be the sound. pitcher, Spencer the Howard. Pitcher. Spencer Howard. Line drive base hit. Hey, I've been impressed with this guy. Not only has he thrown the ball well, but now he's mixing in a base hit late in the game, giving his manager options whether or not he wants to pinch run, keep him in there, go to the relief. I mean, he's opened up. A Next, here is Tyson Randolph, grounded out in his last at bat. Yeah, Matty, expect this pitcher to try and get the same result as his last at bat right here. The double play is in order. Anything on the ground, the way this defense is, they could certainly roll two. The 1 0 home. Adrianza gets his lead at first, nobody out. A ball and two strikes now. Come on, 
Bouncer to the left side, scooped up. There's one. On to first to complete the double play. Stepping in next, Tyson Randolph. Fourth trip to the plate now, and he's hitless to this point. Yeah, he and his teammates have really been shut down by some very good pitching in this one. Been fun for a guy like me to watch. Hummel finds some space out there for the catch to retire the side. So they're held in check here this half of the inning. Home half of the eighth straight ahead. Nashville's out on top, two to nothing. Boy, this was a wild, sloppy affair. A close finish, but a lot of errors on defense made this one pretty unpredictable. They'll take the win, but, man, it's time to clean up the glove work. They can't continue to make errors. Close one tonight, 2-1 to one, the final score. The Nashville Sound took the lead in the second inning and rode that until the very end. Spencer Howard earns his eighth victory of the season as he turns in eight strong innings of work. Nolan Kingham is slapped with his 15th loss of the season. Clayton Andrews hammers down the save, his 11th of the campaign. So that'll put a wrap on things here this evening. From our partners Dan Plezak and Mark DeRosa, I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a special presentation of MLB The Show. For more, follow us on Twitter at MLB The Show. Welcome to MLB The Show in this presentation of Minor League Baseball. Today, the finale of this three-game weekend series between the Gwinnett Stripers and the Nashville Sounds. It's baseball on the show, and it's coming up next. Jordan Zimmerman, the right-hander from the state of Wisconsin, is on the mound here. What's your take on him, Dan? Hey, we look a lot at numbers from starting pitchers, walks to innings pitch, but one of the key stats I look for is whip. And he has a sub 1.30 whip coming into this start, which tells me he throws strikes. He's not afraid to get the ball in the strike zone. It'll be interesting to see if he can string together some real quality innings in this one. Now to the plate, Corey Ray. It lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Dan Dero, as we take a look at our visiting club as they take the field in this scoreless ball game, fair to say they're not playing their best baseball right now. Losers of five of their last six. Hey, Matty, yeah, it's been a tough series so far, Debro. They've lost the first two. Two nail biters, two close games, low scoring games. They'd like to turn that fortune around here today. Yeah, but from a manager's perspective, Dan, all you can ask for is effort, and that's what that this team's exactly. given them. They took it on that's a chin, first two games, one run losses. They'll bounce back today. Ground ball sent back up the middle, and he'll reach first safely. Nice effort by the shortstop right there. Kept it in front of him. That's, a, that's all he could do right there, Dan. You know, deal in a spot like that, that that's an hurt. infield single. That's a tough play. Oh, Just to one, knock okay. that ball down yeah, was a pretty good job. Peter, but uh, any way you look at it, that should be scored a base hit, and I'm sure it was. Runners off for Eight. second. In there. Now the throw. The tag, and he's out. Great job adjusting to the throw and applying the tag in time. Well, so much for that first hit of the game. Tried to press their luck and move him up to second with the steal, but it didn't work out. And he fouls this one off. Here we go, boys. Here comes the one-two. Misses off the plate. And strike three called as he says, you got to be kidding me with the side retired. And inning in the books, no score here on the show. Next to hit will be the pitcher, Tyson Randolph. He's yet to get into the hit column in the series, 0 for 7. Ready with the first pitch, here it comes. Breaking ball that time that misses out of the zone. it back up the middle and that'll get by into center field for a base hit and they're not going to get him he's in there at the plate he took that back right where it came from nice ribby knock right up to shoot there. Yeah, a little bit frustrating as a pitcher you know you always hear that hey you want to make yourself one of the defenders but that ball was hit just out of his reach right up the middle base hit and another run batted in 
Last half of the second set to go, and set to go is the third baseman, Lucas Erce. And he gets ahead here with the fastball, strike one. Hey, I still believe in my heart the best pitch is a well-executed fastball down the way, and that's exactly what that is. He swings at that. That's off the end of the bat. That's not hard contact at all, and that's an easy out for the defense. And no call on the screwball there, so the count moves to one and two now. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. Another one-two delivery. Again, he sends it out of play. Here he comes again, one-two. Swing and a looper to left. Left fielder coming on, but he won't get there. It falls in. But fortunately, he'll hold on at first with just a single. Nothing fires me up more than watching a hitter take what a pitcher gives him. Pitches away, batter's able to keep his hands inside, not try and do too much, and just force feet that a single. Good. Into the box right now, field. Kristen Lutz. Chris As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. That evens it up, one and one. Hey, play the two. Let's roll it up, huh? From the stretch. Swing and a miss. Good sinking action two there, one and two. This is foul right side. Airseg on at first, nobody out. And he wasn't going to hit that one with an or the strikeout, and there's one gone. Got him with a good high fastball there. Danny, we see a lot of that pitch in strikeout situations these that days. What makes it so effective? I think, Matt, what makes it such a tough pitch is you're changing Henry. eye levels. That fastball up looks so enticing to hit that you think you see that ball as a hitter. Do you think you can drive it? But it's really hard to get on top of that good high hard fastball. Grab ball right now, huh? Lays off that one time, and, and it's one and two. Here's a breaking ball, Outside. but it doesn't quite find the strike zone. So you'd love for him to offer at that one, but the execution was flawless. Nice curveball that starts in the zone and breaks just out. Just a great take by the batter. And a fastball blew it right by him, and there are two down. That's back to back strikeouts now as they've been unable to advance that leadoff single into scoring position. Yeah, clearly no problems working out of the stretch right now, Matt. He's taking control this inning after giving up that hit. Now we'll see if he can finish it off strong as well. Sean Adams is in with two away as he takes a ball, 1 0. Who pulled the string and had him way out in front, a ball and a strike. Fouled away. Working for the punch out and the offering. Slider whiffed on for strike three. A great pitch to put an end to the inning. One hit, one left. We played two full. The stripers on top, one to nothing. Bottom of the third now, and next to bat will be the outfielder, Joe Gray. The left fielder. Hot shot down the line. Uh, this is foul for the first strike. I love everything this pitcher's got working right now. He's got presence. He's got great body language on the mound. He's got fastball command and a nice early feel for his off-speed stuff. Half swing here, but it won't matter. It's strike three called anyway, and that's out number one. You know, I'm not quite sure how that strikeout will be scored, looking or swinging. He tried to check his swing, but I'm pretty sure the home plate umpire was ringing him up regardless. Standing in now, Jordan Zimmerman. No pitcher. As he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. Play the first. Play the first. And it's fouled away. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. A swing and a ground ball to third. There's Sandoval. And that's the He's second out. out. 
And definitely worth another look with our show track data. Great reaction from the hot corner to make the backhand stop. And then he unleashes that very strong throw while in the air all the way across the diamond. He's going to be smiling about that one. In now, Corey Ray, as he'll take a look at a high strike that time. It's nothing in one. And it's quickly 0-2. Nothing in two count and the pitch hit on the ground out to short throw oh, won't hit. be in time as he reaches it first into the box Bryce Terang as he'll take a look at ball one. And he fires in a strike this time to make it one ball and one strike. 1-1 one, one home. Runners on the move for second. Fouled off. Ray, the runner at first with two gone. And that one misses badly. It's ball two. Hit to third. Throw to second for the force out, and the side is retired. So no runs on a hit here. No errors. One man left on. Three innings complete. Gwinnett leads it one to nothing. Right and now. now in the box Tyson Randolph singled in his last at bat yeah, and he's got to feel super confident right now he's the only real offense in this game guys on the mound have been executing every pitch there's a fastball on the inner third taken for a strike this one's flared toward left center left fielder coming in lays out and he's got it a great play for route number two. Derek Fisher is going to come in now and take over following the injury. Number seven. Leading off the inning, it'll be Jace Peterson. They'll look to spark the offense and even things up. And this is taken outside for ball one. One and one the count now. Here it comes. Fly ball right down the line and left. Waters moves over near the line as he puts it away for the first out of the inning. So now it'll be the four hole hitter, Lucas Ersay, who collected a base hit his first time up. The pitch. Here's the pitch. Can't get him to go after the Scroogey with two strikes, so it's one and two now. Hit back toward the mound. In time to first, and there are two away. Next to stand in is Tristan Lutz looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. In there for strike one, 0 oh and 1. That's in there. And he's deep in the hole now, 0 oh and 2. That's a real nice location with that fastball up and in on the hands. Hard to do much with that because a hitter really can't extend his arms very easily. Swung on and missed, and that's the final out of the inning. Nothing doing here this half. We played four full. The Stripers lead it one to nothing. Set now for the bottom of the fifth, and next to hit is the catcher, Peyton Henry. The catcher. And they start him out away with a cold strike. But facing right handed pitching so far this season, Henry has a batting line residing in the 290s, looking to boost that even higher here. One and one the count. Now the pitch. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. I don't blame him for not coming over the heart of the plate. He circled this guy on the lineup card when he got to the yard today. He's been swinging one of the hotter bats in the game. Swung on and missed three and two. Hey, usually the second time through the order, you start seeing an incorporation of some more off-speed stuff. But this guy's locating and feeling really good about his fastball. Two back-to-back. -back. And another foul ball. The next 
And he'll finally just wear him down as this one swung on and missed for the first out. He's just bringing up strikeouts left and right. But what's really impressive to me, he hasn't walked anyone either. He's just pounding the zone. His stuff is dirty today. At the plate now, now Sean Adams. He'll one. take a look at a pitch too so, low. It's ball one. one and struck out in his first at bat. That one's going to find the seats. Strike one. One out, nobody on. And they'll go off speed here as this pitch misses. It's two and one. Hit on the ground out to short. And there's out number two. Next up is Derek Fisher. First at bat of the game for him here in the fifth as he was a late entrant Fisher. into this one. Strike one to start the at bat. Lays off the slider and it's one and one. Boy, that's one of the toughest pitches to lay off. A hard breaking ball at the back foot. Tough take on a terrific pitch. And that misses two and two. Bases are empty here with two men out. And he struck him out, his eighth punch out of the ball game, and that one ends the inning. So they go quietly here in this half inning. We're through five here at the ballpark. The Stripers on top, one to nothing. And stepping in, Tyson Randolph. Ready to deal. Here comes the first pitch. Good slider there, gets a swing and miss. Oh, man, was that a hack. He's trying to create his own run support with a swing like that. Now a fastball off the plate away, a ball and a strike. Hey, get your pitch up there and do something with it. Let's go. The 1-1 one, one home. Line drive, and that's a base hit in the center field. So now they'll have runners on the corners with two away. Hey, I've been impressed with this guy. Not only has he thrown the ball well, but now he's mixing in a base hit late in the game, giving his manager options. Whether or not he wants to pinch run, keep him in there, go to the relief. I mean, he's opened up a whole weaponry sound. box for the man. Jordan Zimmerman Jordan. will stand in for the second time now as he Zimmerman. looks at a called strike. It's nothing in one. And nobody away. And he falls behind 0-2. It looked like the fastball got away from him there. Boy, he sped him up in this at bat. Now it's time for the changeup. This guy's got a good one, and he hasn't thrown it yet in this at bat. Oh, right back to him on the mound. And he'll flip on to first to record the out. So the lineup flips over and digging in Corey Ray a hit in two at bats for him at this point in the ball game. No balls in one strike. Hey, one out here. We got one. In front of the changeup and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. Yeah, he's got these hitters in the proverbial rocking chair right oh. here, pushing the throttle and pulling it. Nice change of speeds. Here comes the one two. He is swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. Good job of making him chase a pitch for the strike out there. Yeah, Matt, that's the advantage of getting ahead in the count. You can really force hitters to expand their zone and protect. And when they're in that mode, getting them to go after a pitch they can't do much with becomes a lot easier. Stepping in now, Bryce Terang. One and oh, the count. Here's the pitch. High in the air down the right field line. Right fielder is on the run. He gets there to make the catch, and that ends the inning. So they go down without a whimper here. We're through six full. Now to bat, Jace Peterson. No hits to this point. Offense just needs to find a way to get that pass the baton mentality. Starts one at bat at a time. I know they need base runners clearly. Maybe if they could get a few guys on the pillow, someone can bop one and get them back in this. And he lays off for a ball, two and one. 
And he can't catch the corner here, so he's behind three and one. Team's been struggling on offense. Let your D work for you right here. Pound the zone. Fastball in there, three and two. Grounded down the third baseline. Sandoval has it. Throw on to first in time, one away. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Lucas Ersig. One for two. He's singled and grounded out so far. One ball, no strikes to count. And a fastball in there for a strike, one and one. Bases are empty, one man out. Called strike on the inside, and he can't believe it at the plate. It's one and two now. And he struck him out. So double digits now. Ten strikeouts for him thus far. That's a pretty impressive pitch from a young arm like that. If you could spot your pitches there and advantage counts like one and two, you're going to have a lot of strikeouts and soft contact. So now to the plate, Tristan Lutz. Ball one to start the at-bat. And ooh, looked like a definite pitcher's pitch there on the inside, one and one. Next pitch will be number 100 for him now through six and two thirds. Yeah, he's grinded this one out, and he's got a chance to get through seven strong innings, Dan. That's got to light the bullpen up. Yeah, and it does, Mark, because you sit out there in that bullpen, and once that starter gets through the fifth and through the stuff sixth. A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. So nothing happening this time around. Eighth inning coming up. The Stripers lead it five to nothing. Philip Irvin is going to be asked to get things going here as a lead off the top of the eighth. You might think it's just another win, but it's awfully hard to win in this game, especially on the road. But they find a way to get it done, and they should be very happy with this performance. Six to one, the final tally today. Gwinnett took the lead in the second inning and rode that until the very end. Tyson Randolph with his fourth win this season, picking up 11 strikeouts along the way. Jordan Zimmerman is settled with the loss score. after giving First up only one earned. Gwinnett so that'll just about do it for us this afternoon. Hits. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to the new website, theshow.com. They left six men on base. Thanks for watching. Subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified whenever a new video is available. And let me know in the comments what you think or roast me for my terrible gameplay. Videos like this are recorded live on Twitch. Follow my socials and my Twitch to know when I'm live recording new content for YouTube. Again, thanks for watching the Prophet Loki 309 YouTube. I'll see you in the realm of mischief.